Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana and in today's video, it's a beautiful texturized cake with ruffles made out of wafer paper. So if you guys want to see how I made this, we'll keep on watching.
So this cake was a six inch cake and I stacked it like I normally would. So I did my crumb coat, popped it in the freezer for five minutes and then did my second coat of buttercream. I chose white, but you can choose any color that you want. And then I, I created um, some kind of a texture on the side with black buttercream, just using a spatula and added a little uh, bit of edible metallic pearls by Sweet Apolita, just I love Sweet Apolita. You can go ahead and look at their link. And by the way, um, I do have a promo code if ever you guys are interested. It's Liliana Springs 15 for 15% off. So I wanted to do this cake because many of you were asking me how to get buttercream so black. So there's a lot of tricks out there, but my personal one is I take buttercream um, from my recipe that I, that I use and then I add some cocoa powder to it. So already I'm cutting down all those shades and I don't have to add and add and add food coloring as we go. So I'm gonna tint my buttercream with cocoa powder and on top of it, it's gonna taste way better. So you're just gonna mix cocoa powder. The quantity um, depends really on the quantity that you want of, of black buttercream so in my case i was just doing like a small part but there's there's not a right or wrong way here like anyway the more you put the better it's gonna taste so that doesn't matter so just go and then just mix as you go if you see that it's not brown enough you can add a little bit more um not a whole lot but you just want to add a little bit more and then once you get that brown buttercream and then you can go ahead and add your black food coloring or your powder and then by mixing it you're gonna see the color will be darker and by the way it will get darker as you like in a few hours or like it will get darker so that's another trick so that's how i do my black buttercream i don't put a bunch of food coloring in there like that's just no that's just wrong i start with i do my buttercream i add cocoa uh, powder to it mix it up and then um i add my food coloring to it until i get the color that i want sometimes i just want like a grayish color so i'm not gonna add as much so that's for that and then for the um, wafer paper so basically um, i've done many videos in the past and you guys loved it so much so i said to myself let's integrate it again so you just take your wafer paper you cut it to whatever size that you want and then you steam it and by steaming it your paper is just going to create all these weird shapes and then let it dry um, onto parchment paper on the cookie sheet and then you don't want to overdo it though because it's going to be too wet so you don't want and then it's going to become like all like tacky and you don't want that just a little bit at the time so if you're not satisfied with the shape i would shape it first then leave it there once it's dry take it again and then shape it again that's how i would do it once you have the shapes that you like then you can leave it like that just use it the way that it is white or you can go ahead and then spray paint it which i did in black and then you just place it on your cake um, it's so sturdy that you can place it like that but if not you can also use just pipe a little bit of buttercream and then just place them as you go and that is basically it you have a wow cake this is really a wow cake so imagine like doing two tiers like that it's just wow so that is it i really hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that i put up thanks for watching and see you in the next one mm -hmm.